Hello and good evening. Here are news to look out for tomorrow, 30th of October 2020. This is tomorrow's news today. On our COVID-19 update, President Buhari says our economy is too fragile to bear another lockdown. India's COVID-19 cases have declined rapidly, scientists say. Taiwan marks 200 days without domestic COVID-19 infection. Hoodlums stole COVID-19 equipment, according to World Health Organization. For local news, six inmates escaped from Delta Detention Center. We planned on giving sugar to Ondo Bikas for lower bread prices, government declares. 21 dead as school bus trailer collide in Enugu. Sonwolu to launch reconstruction of Ekwe Ibejuleki Expressway November 1st. The video scales others blast Desmond Elias over social media regulation. Looters now returning stolen items in Eloring voluntarily. U.S. blocking Okojo Ewell's appointment as WTO Director General. Lagos approves reopening of public-private schools on Monday. Now to business, Lagos sets up graduate internship program with a monthly stipend of 40,000 naira for youth beneficiaries. Federal government to invest in deployment of mini-grid systems to power 5 million homes in 2021. Straight to foreign news, 15 killed in DR Congo military attacks. Now in tech, Nokia doubles profits, pledges to win at 5G. Finally in sports, Akwei gets Nigeria recall for serial loan games. To get this and many more, do visit our website, guardian.ng, and you can also get a copy of the Guardian newspaper at your newsstands tomorrow. And don't forget to connect with us on social media via Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Guardian Nigeria. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe.